Hi everyone, in today's QuickBooks Basics mini-series, I'm going to cover the list section. So let's get started. The list section in QuickBooks can easily be overlooked, but it's important to know what type of lists are in QuickBooks because it's going to help you with your reporting, it's going to help you with your QuickBooks setup. So to access the list, Let's go to the gear icon and then go to the list. I'm going to select all lists. In this section, we can see what QuickBooks considers a list. The chart of accounts, which we saw in our first video, is considered a list. It's, it displays all the accounts for QuickBooks. So as we learned, it is important to set this list up first before you start using QuickBooks online. We also have recurring transactions list. So if we click on there, we can actually create recurring transactions. So we can create a bill uh, that recurs every month. We can create invoices. We can create sales receipt. Let's see what type of transactions. Look at all these transactions we can create on a recurring basis. Estimates, we can do credit memos, transfers, refunds. We can create a lot of transaction types in here. The only downfall of creating recurring lists is if you don't remember you have a recurring list transaction and then you go and do that transaction. So you can have duplicates. So if you are going to create recurring transactions, make sure that you remember that you have already a recurring transaction in there. So let's go back to lists and see what else we have. We have products and services. Um, products and services is very important if you um, handle inventory. Um, it's also important for your estimates and your invoicing. Uh, for a construction company, we can definitely have cost codes in here um, linked to each income account and expense account or cost of goods account. So this is the products and services list. We also have a custom form types in here. QuickBooks considers that a list. Um, so any adjustments you do to your invoicing, you can definitely look in here and you will have a list. We also can uh, customize our estimates and sales receipt. Let's go back to list. I keep going to the gear icon. Let's go back to list. We also have the payment methods. So here are all of payment methods. When we record our payments in QuickBooks, uh, they could be adjusted in here. We can delete like this Diners Club. If you don't have that, we can definitely delete, edit, make it active. Um, your terms, net 10, net 30, net 60. If you have some other different um, terms, for your business, you can definitely come in here and um, adjust that. Attachment. This is one of my favorite lists because everything I have attached to a transaction in QuickBooks will be in this list. So any receipts that I have attached, any um, reports, any documents, they will be in this list. I can also drag or I can click here to even add more um, receipts, transactions, documents into this list. So if you're looking for something in QuickBooks um, that it's attached and you're not sure where, you can definitely uh, go in here and you can look at everything that you have in QuickBooks Online. Okay, let's go back. We have also custom fields in here. I'm not going to go into details um, about this list, but uh, just be aware that your custom fields list is under list. Now, Another two lists that I don't see are the classes and the locations. And that is because you have to actually activate those. So if we go to account and settings and go to advance and we click under, see how it says track classes, track location, it's off. So when we turn them on, I'm just going to turn both of them on. You don't have to use both at the same time. Um, I'm just going to turn them off. You can, QuickBooks is refreshing, you can see that they will now appear in this list. So here's classes and here is location. So then you can go ahead and set your classes in here or set your locations. Um, so this is where you go and set up a 
additional functionality in QuickBooks Online, I would recommend you doing this as well when you set up um, QuickBooks Online. Just go in here and try to set it up before you start using QuickBooks. It will make um, using QuickBooks a lot easier because you will have it set up how you want it and how you need it. And that's what I wanted to cover with you guys today. I hope that um, you liked this video. If so, please give thumbs up and I will see you on the next one.